Hi guys, I'm Jonathan Strickland, a senior writer here with HowStuffWorks.com, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the future of artificial intelligence and whether we should be worried that a super smart computer is going to take over the world one day. How about that? So let's start off by talking about the history of artificial intelligence. It's a field of study that's been around ever since we started building computers, and we've made a lot of progress. We've built computers that can defeat a grandmaster chess champion, uh, we've built a computer that can rocket on jeopardy, and we've even built a computer that can determine what the laws of physics are based solely upon the movements of a pendulum. But does that mean that computers are really intelligent? This is actually a pretty tricky question to answer because no one has a real definitive statement of what intelligence really is. It's more than just being able to solve problems. It's really a question of philosophy. So let's imagine that we're just talking about the ability to solve problems. In that case, we've already got intelligent computers. There are computers that can perform trillions of, of math problems per second, much faster than any human on the planet. But if we start thinking about perceiving your environment, drawing conclusions, making plans, changing those plans as situations change themselves, and understanding your own place within that environment, computers are still pretty stupid. They just don't know how to do that. They might be able to draw conclusions based upon the environment around them, but they don't know what their place is. They have no sense of self-awareness. Well, let's imagine that we've built a computer that has this. Are we going to ever encounter a time where we've got this super intelligent computer that takes over the world and decides to wipe us out because the meat bags that we are are just kind of messy and aren't necessary? I'm not so concerned about this. For this to happen, computers would have to have a sense of not just self-awareness, but self-preservation. The computer would have to come to the conclusion that humans were some sort of threat to the computer's existence, and it would have to have a sense of survivalism, that, that, that this would be a bad thing, that the computer needs to continue to exist. That's a pretty big leap. It would also have to have some sort of motivation. So that also plays into the survivalism. And these are really tricky concepts that we don't fully understand within ourselves, so to imbue a computer with that would be a pretty huge task. So are we going to get there? I doubt it. But I bet we will get to a point where your computer can figure out exactly what you should have for lunch, how much you should exercise, how much sleep you should get, what television programs you should watch, and how many of my articles you should read. The answer to that last question, by the way, is all of them. Enjoy! For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts, free, on iTunes.